Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use exclusive solo mode in Logic Pro to quickly AB multiple mixes or multiple tracks within a mix. So this is really helpful because it allows you to jump back and forth with your solo mode uh, between different tracks. And it does it in an uninterrupted way. So like normally when you use solo, whether you're using S on your keyboard to turn it on and off, or whether you're just clicking the solo button on a track. For example, if I click solo on mix one here and then click solo on mix two, now I have to go back to mix one and turn that one off. Well, if you hold option while clicking your next solo button, you'll see that it unsolos any other solos and only solos the one that you clicked on. So I could jump down to three, I can jump back up to one, jump back to two. So the great thing about this is it gives you a way to AB multiple tracks, two or more tracks with no interruption, as long as the tracks are like, you know, time aligned uh, in the timeline. So here I have three different mixes of one of my songs. And uh, what I can do is I can just press play with one of them soloed. And during playback, I can, hold option and click the next one, hold option, click the third one, and I can get a bit more of an objective comparison between the three mixes. So mix one sounding a little bit louder, uh, sounding like it's a little bit brighter, not as much bass. Mix two sounding a little bit more compressed and, and restrained. Mix three sounding a little bit more open, but with more bass. And then I can jump over to another section here and I can AB these as well. So let's start with mix one. So I can very easily jump between these three tracks and again, create a more objective way of comparing these three mixes. Maybe uh, after this comparison, I realize, you know what? I like the bass better in mix two. Let's go and make those changes to mix three. So for me, this is a really important step, uh, especially when I get to sort of like the mastering phase of a project where I'm comparing, you know, my final master versions and deciding which one I like best. So again, all you have to do to exclusive solo is hold option while selecting the solo button, and this will disable any other solos that are currently active. So even when there's two or more tracks already soloed, if you option click on another track, you'll see it disables the previous two solos and only solos that one track. So that's exclusive solo in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, Thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.